Hey guys, my name is Bill and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're building a relay, uh, relay network today because because of the mod packs that I have installed, you can't use uh, pro bodies and things like that away from Kerbal's main center without having a relay network because you can only control them with a direct link to KSB. So I'm building, sorry, building probes like this that have these bad boys on them, which are giant aerials and um, they should allow us to communicate at long distances back with uh, headquarters so that should be pretty cool just notice I need to put something else so I should stick this out or, or you can be a pain and it should allow us also because I put this uh, on the top which is a power relay network so at the same time as building a communications relay network I should be building a power relay network hopefully that is the idea anyway so I shall launch this up into space and we shall see whether or not it actually works hopefully it does that would be kind of preferred I need to change the textures back the textures are still set to how they were when I did the video um, thank you so that's interesting. Okay, so I have my first one up. I've deployed the uh, the aerials. That's the word I was looking for. The reflector. This one is this one. This one is targeting mission control. So that that's what that line is. So it's going straight to mission control. Actually, that one's technically not targeting mission control that way. It's still using the uh, get me into orbit one. So let's deactivate that there you go so now it should be using this one um yeah that's cool so we've got one up um it's not at full height at the moment it's only at 200,000 so we'll get another one up <coughs> I chickened out about trying to get up to t uh, straight up to half because it was going too far to the right um and if it went too far then I wouldn't have enough time to get it into orbit and basically I chickened out so I'm going to try and get the other ones up now. Now I shall see you. See that now it's broken. I shall see you in a moment. Hopefully with some awesome satellite orbits. So one tool that I could use to get us into uh, orbit is the flight computer, which is this little button up here. And it will tell us, and you click this down here, and it brings out a kind of list of instructions that you can tell it to do. And what you can do is if I type in here, say, that long delay so it says in 25 minutes it will send a signal or rather it will send a signal and say wait 25 minutes and then do whatever I push on this right hand side so in 25 minutes say we want it to burn for 20 seconds at full throttle and then we conveniently do it that now so that it will do it at the upper office and it will bring our periapis up one thing we want to think about of course is the fact that we're going to be at the wrong angle so if we do 100 no we want to do that less than that because I'm going to have to talk so let's put it on there and press return it will so 430 seconds sorry 24 minutes 30 seconds from now we want it to move to the prograde so we do it there so that will run these are all run concurrently so it won't you can see it counting down between the two <coughs> so it's already set the signal it says do this in this many seconds and then do that so you see there's two seconds between it we probably should have left slightly more I should have pushed a button a bit quicker but that should be okay so if we put this up here and then speed up time to get us around there we're going to lose this connection with uh, KSB uh, command Kerbal command but it should when it gets around to here throttle up I don't know if it's going to bring us out of warp to do it um, let's just slow down 20 okay so can we see the object yep okay cool it should should do it itself so I'm going to take my hand off the keys and then hopefully it will work 3 2 1 are you going to move? moves to prograde awesome and then burns and then, then let's check our so periapis is going up that's freaking awesome you know that I think you can actually set it to go to an altitude as well though 
I've not used this before. There you go. That is pretty awesome. So that's probably how I'm going to get them up to height because that's so much quicker than trying to build the network ups and then gradually push it out. And also it's more realistic because that's, you know, that's what you do. You you don't have direct control of things. You send them a signal and say, do this at this point. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to build this up and connect them all together. Okie dokie, guys. So we have our completed network now. So this is probe number one. And there he is. And he's obviously connected, at the moment he's connected directly to KSB because it's still above the horizon for KSB. If we speed it up as it goes round, he will lose signal and not be able to send a direct signal straight to KSB. But it's set up to relay through number four. So then it relays through number four. But then of course number four carries on going round. And at some point number four can't get a direct signal uh, to KSB. So number four relays all of its signals through number three. Uh, like so. So there's a little pause there. I think that's due to the fact that my distribution isn't perfect. Anyway, so now number one is sending a signal all the way around to number four. But at some point, number two actually comes across the horizon and it's quicker to send it through two than it is to send it around that big loop. So it swaps to that one. Um, so yeah, so number one always has a connection to KSP via these other satellites. And obviously the other satellites in turn have a connection all the way down because they can do the same thing. So that's pretty cool. All of my relay satellites have a spare um, reflector on them. Oh, I can't quite remember the hell to call it then. And they also have these power distributors because I'm debating or future proofing them as to whether or not I'm going to use some kind of power network as well. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. That works. That's going to be for like a deep space one. So this can operate for deep space kind of probe centers so one of them can send off to connect to something else and blah, blah 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 now I want to build something slightly cl uh, uh, build something closer to home but something you know around probably the moon or Minbus to allow us to mine there because I want to do the whole mining thing automated I don't want to have people over there I want it all automated and then ship it out and then I want people on planets not on moons um, so I'm probably going to get some people onto like Eve or, uh, yeah, probably Eve. We could get Juno as well, one of the two, either which way. But that is, yeah, that should be, those satellites that we have are 40 giga, I think the 40 giga meters. So Juno will be okay when it's here, but they'll lose signal. So having a probe over here will be slightly more complicated. We'll have to build something else. But we will see. In the meantime, I think I'm going to set up a network around uh, the Mun so that we can start mining there remotely. Okay. Okay, so I tried... Well, <laughs> I was in the process of sending something to the moon and then I realised that I do actually need to put down some more satellites. So I've put down another four and I've uh, called it the extension network. So we have on down here, we have our original relay, four original relay networks satellites and then I have added another three which I've called the Kerman Extension Network uh, so you know you have one in between every single one of the originals so I have number four here and then extension number four and then the original third there oh sorry there's the, the extension third and then the original third the extension second and the original second the extension first and then the original first so basically you've now got eight satellites going around um, some of them are at a slight angle, just because I decided to put them at an angle just to give it a bit more arc cover. I haven't done for the whole, you know, full whack, but this should be more than enough. And of course, they've got the half a kilometer, uh, sorry, half a million kilometer aerials on them. So anything that's in any kind of orbit should be able to pick them up. These ones also have, because they were designed based on the idea of the ones that I'm going to send to the Mun, and they have this high range one on here, which is non angled as well. So uh, technically speaking, I could turn one of those on and it should be able to pick anything up uh, to three gigameters, I think it says. So that should actually reach, mm, yeah, I'd have to check that. It's either three gig or it might be three mega, which would make more sense to so pick anything out on the outside as well, which is pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you that and I think it looks freaking amazing now when it goes around because some of the trails that you get are so cool. Shit. 
My network has been completed. How cool is this? So you just watch it go around. Do do do. Look at those connections. Oh, oh, it's going too fast. It's getting a bit confused. But how cool is that? So it's always got a connection. So all four of them have got direct line to whichever one is closest. I've got them all equidistant. So it turns out at 200,000 uh, meters above the surface, you can actually just have four satellites circling around like that, which is pretty awesome. It makes a cool diamond shape. It works much better, actually, than it did one on Kerbin. Kerbin, you must have to have them higher to get the same kind of effect. But of course, the problem is if you do that, launching anything on Kerbin becomes slightly more irritating. The height that we have it on Kerbin, it works really well that you only have to have the short range antenna and it can reach one of these satellites um, until it gets up actually out into space, which is pretty useful. So now that we have our uh, satellite system, I'm probably going to try and set up a mining, remote mining system on the MUN. So we're going to give that a go and see what the frick happens now. I've never tried to launch one of these things and they are huge. <laughs>